Hello, my name is Rudolaya and today I will talk about candida endocarditis after TABR. First, uh, I'm going to start with the definitions. What is a fungal endocarditis and what is a TABR? Uh, fungal endocarditis is a rare and fatal condition. The candida and aspergillus species are the two most common etiologic fungi found responsible for fungal endocarditis. Candida endocarditis may be associated with several host predisposing conditions like intravenous drug use, inwelling foreign bodies like catheters, prosthetic heart valves, pacemakers, uh, immunosuppression, prolonged use of broad spectrum antibiotic therapy, malnutrition and diabetes mellitus. Candida can cause more serious invasive infections, and these often develop in individuals that have underlying immunodeficiencies. Other risk factors for serious candidal infections include hyperglycemia and reduced stomach acidity. The most common situation is an infection of a prosthetic device like a central venous catheter. In these settings, candida forms a biofilm, which is where the yeast lives inside a jelly-like matrix of proteins and behaves more like a large colony than like a collection of individual cells. Candida is able to infect devices, and if the infection isn't treated, then over time small clumps of the yeast-laden biofilm can break away, get into the blood, and cause candidemia. From the blood, candida can spread to other locations, which is known as invasive candidiasis. Commonly affected sites are the heart valves, the liver, and spleen, as well as the bones and joints. Candida can also cause kidney infections, either as a complication of candidemia or as a complication of urinary tract infection. Candida can also cause meningitis, in particular if it infects a device in that space, like a ventricular shunt. What's more is that candida can cause particularly worrisome infections of the eye. Uh, a TAPR uh, or transcatheter uh, aortic valve replacement is a new and less invasive procedure for aortic stenosis in patients at high risk for conventional surgical aortic valve replacement. The number of TAPRs has been gradually increasing worldwide and report cases of TAPR associated infective endocarditis have also increased accordingly.
applications in medicine. TABR may be an option for people who are at intermediate or high risk of complications from surgical aortic base replacement. The decision to treat aortic stenosis with TABR is made after the patient consult with a team of heart and heart surgery specialists who work together to determine the best treatment option for the patient. TABR can re uh, relieve the signs and symptoms of aortic base stenosis and may, and may improve survival in people who have severe symptoms. Early detection and the prone initiation of appropriate treatment could reduce mortality for a fungal endocarditis. The early experiences of management protocol and the outcomes of a fungal endocarditis summarized by sealing it all showed a negative correlation between the severity of a fungal endocarditis and the patient's prognosis. The heart's main function is to pump blood to the rest of your body. The heart contains four valves. Normal valves have two or three flaps of tissue called leaflets that open and close like gates that control the flow of blood through your heart. It's important to know that if you have aortic stenosis, your aortic valve narrows due to calcium buildup. This prevents the valve from fully opening which blocks blood flow from your heart to the rest of the body. As a result of the reduced blood flow, the body does not get the oxygen it needs, which can lead to symptoms. Aortic stenosis is a progressive disease, which means it gets worse over time. It's typically measured as mild, moderate, or severe. The only effective treatment for severe aortic stenosis is to have your aortic valve replaced. Today, there are two options for replacement, open-heart surgery or less invasive transcatheter aortic valve replacement, also known as TAVR. During the TAVR procedure, you may be placed under anesthesia. Once under anesthesia, a small incision will be made in your leg, where your doctor will insert a short hollow tube called a sheath into your femoral artery. Sometimes as a first step during the TAVR procedure, Balloon aortic valvuloplasty, also known as BAV, is performed in order to open your narrowed calcified valve. Once the sheath is in place, your doctor will guide a catheter with the balloon on the end of it up to your aortic valve. Once the balloon catheter reaches your aortic valve, the balloon is inflated to open your narrowed calcified valve. The balloon catheter is then deflated and pulled back from the aortic valve. During the next step, your new transcatheter heart valve is crimped onto a delivery catheter, which makes the valve small enough to fit through a sheath, so it can be delivered to your heart. Using a special type of x-ray, your doctor will guide the delivery catheter carrying the new valve through the sheath and up to your aortic valve. The balloon of the delivery catheter is inflated with fluid, expanding the new valve within your diseased valve pushing the old leaflets aside. The balloon is then deflated and the delivery catheter is removed, leaving your new heart valve in place. The frame of the Edward Sapien III Ultra Transcatheter Heart Valve is strong and will use the calcified leaflets of your diseased valve to secure it in place. Once in place, the Sapien III Ultra Valve begins functioning immediately with the leaflets opening and closing to pump blood to the rest of your body. And pros and cons. Uh, pros, we have it, that is a minimally invasive procedure. TAVR relieved signs and symptoms of aortic valve stenosis, uh, improved overall health and quality of life. TAVR can also reduce the risk of death. Uh, cons, uh, patients have an intermediate or high risk of complications from surgical aortic valve replacement. Kidney and lung, and lung disease can increase the risk of complications during surgical aortic valve replacement. 
the most serious risks of the TAVR procedure are similar to open-heart surgery and include death, stroke, bleeding, and vascular complications. If you or someone you know has severe aortic stenosis, only a heart team can determine which treatment option is best for you. Ask your doctor to refer you for a TAVR evaluation. To find a heart team at a TAVR hospital near you, visit newheartvalve.com. Issue applied in Ecuador. Uh, in 2007, at Eugenio Espejo Specialities Hospital, seven of these procedures have already been carried out, all with excellent results. There is, a, there is evidence of advantages of this therapy compared to, conven co to conventional surgery, mainly in the reduction of days hospitalization and complications. Uh, conclusion, it's important the diagnosis of prostatic pale fungal infection because its clinical manif manifestations are similar to bacterial endocarditis. In a review of 91 patients with candida endocarditis, 77% of them were diagnosed after autopsy. Uh, molecular methods are the most sensitive way of diagnosing the Pathogens. In high risk patients presenting prolonged fever, empiric antifungal therapies are necessary and should be given with sufficient terms and dose. Thank you.